What is up guys, it is Team Tonight here and today we'll go back to another Black Ops 4 Zombies video and in this video I'm going to be giving you guys a quick high round strategy for Dead of the Night. I seriously cannot believe this strategy works but without further ado, let's get right into it. Before going into the map, equip the perks Dying Wish, Victor's Tortoise, Stone Cold Stronghold and for your tonic perk, equip Time Slip. For the specialist weapon, equip the Viper and Dragon. It's sort of optional, but I recommend getting the Wonder Weapon and upgrading it. I'll link some videos down below on how to get it if you don't know already. You can also get the Wonder Weapon from the box, so you can do that as well. If you want to open Pack a Punch, you can. However, it's actually not needed, believe it or not. The one thing you do need in your setup, however, is a Ballistic Shield. First shield part can be found on the chair in East Hallway. Another part can spawn left the doorway near a pillar in the dining room. And also in the dining room, a part can spawn on a shelf left of the staircase. The second part can be located either in the library, on the couch, or the broken shelf, or on top of a table in the study. And the final shield part is either left of the SOG wall by on the East Balcony, at the Grand Staircase leaning on a pillar, or at the West Balcony near the RK7 wall by. If you need any additional help on shield parts, I'll be replying to every comment on this video or I might just link a shield parts tutorial in the description below. Now you got all the parts to your shield, go ahead and craft it and get all your perks. The spot you're going to be camping at is at the shield crafting table. Pull out your shield and shoot any zombies that come your way. Whenever you run out of bullets, just rebuy ammo at the crafting table like I do in the gameplay. In the later rounds, you're going to be doing this constantly and if you have all your perks, you won't get damaged as long as you have your shield out. The reason why I'm surprised this strategy works is because this is almost the same exact strategy people use to go for high rounds on classified. Like the fact this works just amazes me. I was able to get to round 59 my first try using the strategy. Crimson Nosferatu's and Catalyst Zombies do get annoying in the later rounds, but there's nothing much you can do about it. It's much much easier to use the strategy instead of training in a certain area of the map because this map is close quarters. I personally think this is the only foolproof high round strategy on the map. I'm really interested to see if this will work on future maps, but that's going to be it for this video, an easy high round strategy for the end of the night. If this video has helped you out in some shape or form, be sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a like down below. But my name is TM Tanaya here, hope you guys have a wonderful day, just keep those positive vibes flowing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.